is George Elder, and I'm the president and operator of Adonai Software. In this block of training, we're going to be talking about adding a third party control to Iron Speed Designer. This is very easy to do, um, it shows the flexibility and the power of Iron Speed. The specific controller we're going to be using is the Dev Express a site map control. First of all, we're going to be using the Iron Speed Designer version 8.0.1, which is the current version, and I recommend everyone upgrade to the current version. It's, it's really nice. Then we're going to be using the Dev Express version 10.2, and this is going to have the sitemap control inside as well as we're going to import this uh, into Iron Speed Designer. We're going to be using uh, Visual Studios 2010, and we're going to be using an XML database or data store to make the sitemap look nice and pretty. Let's get started. We're in Visual Studios 2010, and I created a ASP.NET web application, which is the web form. Go to the toolbar, and you drag on a sitemap control and drag it onto the form. As you can see it created the sitemap. There's a couple of things we need to do before we can get this up and running. The first thing we need to do is create a provider in the web.config. And basically this is how you do it. Um, you give it a name and it's off the system.web.xml sitemap provider. It has to point to the XML database that we created for our site now. Going back to the form, we need to create a data source for it. Here it is, we created the data source. It comes on the form and the next thing we need to do is point the provider to the data source. And the name, I can go back and this is the name. Copy that and go back to the form and here's the sitemap provider and you give it that name and I'm done. Let's run it and see what we got. We have a sitemap and as you can see it has hierarchical data and also links that you can click on to go specific pages. Wonderful. The next step we'll be importing it, this into ISD now that we have the sitemap built in Visual Studios 2010, we have to get it into Iron Speed Designer. It's very easy to get it into Iron Speed Designer. It's just a few steps that we have to take, and once we take those steps, it'll run in, in um, Iron Speed Designer very, very nicely. The first step is is a, a declaration. You have to have a declaration to let Iron Speed Designer know um, what components or assemblies you're going to use, and this component and assembly is referencing to the co controls that are down below here. And there's two ways to get it in Iron Speed Designer. The first way is to get it into the page declaration. And it has to be up at the top. And once you get that in there, you hit OK and you're done. Or you can go into the Visual Studios portion of your Iron Speed Designer and use the declaration there. The next step is to reference the database. You need to copy and paste the database in the bin folder or in um, the application data folder. And it doesn't matter where you put it, it's just make sure that Iron Speed Designer knows how to go get it. And the way that Iron Speed knows how to go get it is through the web config. Remember we referenced the, the database with the providers and you've got to understand what the providers innately Iron Speed uses um, sitemap providers when uh, you create your menus. So you don't want to delete this, but you want to just add to it. And you add this line, and I specifically put um, my database in my bin folder, so I referenced the bin folder, so did Iron Speed knows how to go get it. The next step is you have to make sure in the compile application .rsp, it's a note, uh, it's basically a word doc or a notepad. Um, 
you, it's in your it's in every iron speed designers uh, application you go find that and you add this little line here and this little line tells it to import uh, specifically the DivX uh, web dot version 10.2 and once that's completed um, you can go back to your Visual Studios and you can copy and paste the controls and there's two controls here. The first control is the sitemap control and the second control is the database control. And you cut and paste this and then you, you go to the uh, Iron Speed Designer Visual Studio side and I put mine in a table definition um, and you can put yours as long as it's in the right place. Once you've completed that, all you need to do is go back into Iron Speed Designer and you run it. And let's run it and see what we get. As you can see, here is the sitemap. And it has hierarchical data as well as all the links, URLs that are required. Um, well, thank you. I just wanted to let you know how very flexible and powerful Iron Speed Designer is. And I hope you enjoyed this session, and we'll see you next time.